this video, I'll be showing you how you can make money online using Google Maps. Now this is something which you can get started with today for free from pretty much anywhere in the world. You don't need any money to start, any skills or previous experience. All you will need is access to an internet connection, a computer and some consistency and hard work. I'll be showing you how you can get this up and running and we'll be going through some examples and some websites which you can use to make this process a little easier. So if that sounds good to you then make sure you stick with me all the way to the end of this video as I'll be sharing with you a bonus method to make a full time income from home. Hey guys welcome back to another video and if you're new to the channel this is Mo from Wi-Fi Cash Academy and I'll be showing you different ways of making money online and mainly focusing on affiliate marketing. I'll be documenting my own journey to financial freedom and sharing what I've learned along the way. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you subscribe and check the notification bell so that I can let you know when I upload a new video. Now let's get back into today's video. So in this video, we'll be focusing on something called local SEO marketing. This is for small businesses who list their business on Google and Google My Business. What we will be doing is searching for businesses in a specific location and then trying to improve their organic search rankings which will increase visitors, leads and hopefully sales for the business. The great thing is that you can do this from anywhere in the world and you're able to contact businesses in different places as Google Maps is worldwide. Also you don't need to stick to the type of businesses that I use in the example in this video so the possibilities are endless. We want to try and get their business listed in the top 3 ideally but at least in the top five. We want to focus mainly on service-based businesses. These can be plumbers, pest control, carpet cleaners, or any other service-based business you can imagine. So for example, we type in carpet cleaners in Florida. We'll start to see the top results in the category. So the very top results are normally going to be Google ads where people are paying per click. But what we want to focus on is down here, which are organic results that Google recommends. So these top three listings will be receiving a huge amount of traffic and leads for free just by ranking up here. And the way they're up here is due to multiple factors, which we'll check out in a moment. So if we check out the rest of the list, we can see all of the other related businesses in the local area. The goal is to find search results that are not up to standard or incomplete and then reach out to them and offer your services. So if we come down here, you can see that the majority of the top ranking businesses have more reviews and generally have most of the required information in place, such as the correct business name, address, phone number, opening times and additional services that they offer. What usually differentiates these listings are the reviews and the age of their website or business. And one of the main ways Google ranks these businesses is the amount of quality citations that they have. Citations are essentially the amount of times that the business is mentioned online using the same name, address and phone number. It basically follows the notion that the more established a business becomes, the more people will recommend it and mention them online. So what you want to do is reach out to a few of these businesses at the bottom of the first and second page. And how we'll be doing this is via email. So let's just go to this business's website and find out their contact email. Usually it should be at the bottom of the page in the footer or on a dedicated about or contact us page. If you can't find an email address then you can simply use their contact form which they should have. I don't really like using the contact form as one, you can't add an attachment and two, it normally gets caught up in the spam filter. But we can work around that. So basically we want to reach out to them, informing them of the problem and then offering our services as an affordable solution. You could say something like, hey, my name is and I've noticed that your Google business ranking hasn't been showing up on the first page. This means you could be losing thousands of dollars without even realizing. I would like to help you improve your listing and generate you more leads. If you're interested, please let me know as I would love to work with your business. Kind regards, your name. A great way to show you have done some research and you're not just a spam bot is to take a screenshot of their business on Google to show their rank. It's easy to send on email, but for a contact form, you'll need to send an image as a link. You can use this free app called ShareX, which allows you to take a screenshot of your screen and then automatically generates a URL which you can use in the contact form. So realistically, you'll need to contact a few of these businesses before any of them get back to you. Think of it as a numbers game. Out of 20 emails you send, you might get five that reply, and then out of those, you might get two that wanna come on board. 
Next, once you have a paying client, you can simply create citations for these businesses and charge them between $300 and $1,000 a month for a few months until their rankings get higher. You can then offer other services once they're happy with your initial service. But hang on, how do you create citations in the first place? Well, you can do it manually, which can be done but would take some time to do, or you can outsource the work using a service such as Whitespark, MozLocal, or simply using Fiverr.com. Using the WhiteSpark website, you can let them take care of the tedious task of manually locating and submitting information to directories, so they charge between $4 to $5 per citation. However, as we do want to make a big difference to our clients' listings on Google, we want to go with the best quality citations and they are niche local citations. So the difference is that with a generic citation, they will just submit your info to any directory. However, with a niche local citation, only directories which are directly related to the business will be used. This is the type of citation that Google likes and prefers as it's showing them that your business is relevant in a specific location and niche, which will then be rewarded with having more authority and a higher rank. So for example, if you're charging the business $400 a month for 3 months, then you can order 30 citations in the first month which would cost you around $150, leaving you with $250. WhiteSpark will also give you a report about the amount of citations you gained and you can give this to your client as a monthly progress report. Then the next month you can gauge how much the listing is moving and adjust the amount of citations that you buy in order to get to the first 2 pages and eventually the first 3 spots. This all depends on the industry that the business is in and as for more competitive niches you may need more citations and SEO services which will be reflected in the amount you charge them. Another good place to purchase citations is a website called Local Citation Services which have an interesting pricing structure. So what you can do is purchase this elite package which includes 350 high quality citations and then again gauge how the listing is moving. You can use a combination of both websites depending on your citation needs. It's always a good idea to start slowly and not just order 300 citations in the first month as it looks very spammy and unorganic and that's something that Google hates. Another website you could use is Fiverr.com. The prices on here will be significantly cheaper than the previous websites however the catch is that the quality may not be as good and may be a little sketchy. But if you do your due diligence you can find some good sellers on here so just remember not to purchase hundreds of citations right away but to look for fewer quality citations. You want to go with a seller that has a good amount of reviews and preferably with some sort of Fiverr verification like a Pro Badge or Level 3 as this will help you pick an experienced and trusted seller. You can also do this manually but as I said I do not recommend this as it takes a lot of time and it's not practical when you want to have multiple clients at the same time. So what we can do is google the business niche and add directories at the end. For example lawyers directory Florida. This will give you a list of local niche directories which are the best types of citations to use. Then you'll need to submit the business info to all of these sites. Another way is to use MozLocal which allows you to see where your client's business is located in the most popular directories. You can then come down this list and then manually submit the info to each of these websites. Moz also offers a comprehensive citation building service but it's pretty pricey so I would maybe only use this for higher paying clients in more competitive niches. Of course, citations are not the only way to improve clients listings. Other things you can do include building backlinks to the website, optimizing the business homepage, geotagging images and optimizing the Google My Business listing itself. These can all be used as upsells or follow up services if the client is happy with your progress. And as I said in the intro, I was going to give you a bonus method to make money online and that is affiliate marketing. So if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, you basically promote products and services to people without having to deal with inventory or customer service issues. It's a business model in which you can generate a long term passive income. The beauty of it is that there's so many different types of products to promote from software to Nike shoes. So if you want to find out how you can get started with your affiliate marketing business, then check out the link in the description where you can find out more. I really hope you learned something from this video and if you did then consider liking the video and subscribing for more videos on how you can make money online and digital marketing. Also let me know down below in the comments where in the world you're from and if you're planning to take action using this method and if you have any questions feel free to ask too. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.